The sandals of peace is given by God to strengthen us emotionally and to help us overcome the storms of our life. Are we in fear? Are we anxious? Are we burdened? Do we have confusion in our hearts? Well, God's sandals of peace is there to help us cope with these anxieties and burdens. And today, you can enjoy His peace in your heart. Today we are dealing with the shield of faith which is about activating your dormant faith by nullifying unbelief in your heart. First of all, is it biblical to ask God to increase your faith as the apostles did in Luke 17, 5? Jesus replied that all the faith they need is as small, is as, small as a black mustard seed which is the smallest seed sown by the local farmers in Israel. That's all we need, a little faith that is as small as the mustard seed. What Jesus was saying is that we have more than enough faith to move all our mountains. The measure of faith that was given to us at our conversion is more than enough in Romans 12, 3. And it's a lot bigger than the mustard seed that's required. The problem is not the insufficiency of faith, but the level of doubt in our hearts that displaces the measure of faith God has given to everyone. <clears throat> How then do we get rid of our doubt and unbelief that springs from our re unrenewed mind? One of the main ways is to cleanse our hearts and minds of the doubt and unbelief with the water of God's Word in Ephesians 5.26 and that's the reason why faith comes by hearing God's Word. We can receive through faith. Matthew 7 verse 8 tells us that everyone who asks receives and he who seeks finds and to him who knocks it will be opened. Jesus is not talking about receiving in the natural realm you don't have to wait till you see your prayers answered before you start receiving. What he's saying is that we can ask and receive our answers by faith in our hearts first without seeing the reality of it. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 verse 1. We need to begin to call those things which do not exist as though they did. What we need is not more repetitive prayer, but more effective prayer that's empowered by faith and understanding of His Word. Because in Matthew 6 verse 7 to 8, it says, When you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do. So many a times we think by much prayer, God will answer our prayers. It's not much prayer, but prayer that's empowered by faith. There are faith robbers that rob us of our faith. One of the greatest faith robbers is disappointments from the bad experiences in your life. If you, if you do not deal with these disappointments, they will turn into disillusionments, which then festers into doubt and unbelief, causing some to be shipwrecked even in their faith, like Demas and others in the Bible. There are external influences that rob us of our faith, such as the media, literature, our friends or peers, the movies we watch, the schools, the education institutions we attend. The whole world system is there to infect us with their doubt and unbelief. Sin that brings guilt and condemnation is another faith robber. And the, th the last faith robber is the lack of fellowship with God and fellow believers. It is as we fellowship with God and believers that the doubt and unbelief is washed off and their faith is then transmitted into our life. We end this session with our usual spiritual exercise 
And to do this, we lift up one arm, symbolizing that we are holding the shield of faith. As you take up the shield of faith, begin thanking Jesus that He has given you more than enough faith to remove all the mountains confronting you and your family. Acknowledge that you have the measure of Jesus' faith in you the moment you accepted Christ in your life. Begin casting away the fiery arrows of doubt and unbelief from the devil. Doubt your doubts. Doubt that you are doubting and begin believing that you believe that you have great faith. Renounce all your disappointments and disillusionments in your life today that have robbed you of your life, of your faith. Declare that God is working all things together for your good because He loves you and He is a faithful God. And because you love Him and follow Him, He will work everything for your good. Affirm your faith today and trust in the Lord through His Word. And speak to your mountains to be removed and cast into the sea. Activate your faith today through the shield of faith. Amen. God bless.